Yo, what's up? Happy Way in Wednesday. Hope everyone's doing well. You can see I got the scale and everything set up in the background. Just about to jump on, take my weight. Um, I do think that my weight's going to go down from last week because I think last week was an anomaly. I, I think that I was a little bit heavier just holding water in my legs because I had done my 5K on the Sunday before and my legs were still super sore. Um, so I do think I was holding a bunch of water in my legs. That's why it went up a couple pounds, but um, I guess we'll see. I don't, Theo's not here. I don't, his toys are just, they're just playing by themselves. <laughs> it's probably a ghost, who knows. I honestly think that last week's weigh-in is kind of just like a, I don't even need to worry about it because, I mean, we'll see when we jump on the scale here, but I think I probably don't have to worry about last week's weigh-in because I think it's probably just an anomaly. I think I was holding a lot of water. Uh, that being said, I did work out yesterday and my chest is kind of sore, so I could still, I guess, be holding some, some water there. Anyways, doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll jump on and see. First, I'll do the weekly calorie recap. Um, just kind of see how I did with the calories, uh, what I should be expecting. I will say that the last couple weeks, I've been a little bit slacking off on hitting my deficits properly and eating good foods. Like even if my deficits have been hit, which mostly they have, I've just haven't been eating the greatest food, to be honest. I've, I've just been a little bit lax with it, which I guess is fine, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm not doing a diet. I'm not on some restrictive diet to you know, make me not want to do this or, or not be sustainable. So at the end of the day, I'm just kind of living my life. And sometimes I slack off a little bit more than I should. And honestly, if I get on the scale and my weight hasn't gone up drastically, then I'm doing fine. Because if I can feel like I haven't really done the greatest job, but still be on track to lose weight, then I'm doing it right. You know, but yeah, I'm uh, going to get to the calorie recap now, get on the scale, see what the weight is and uh, start another weigh in Wednesday. So this past week has been the closest that my calories in and calories out have been yet during this weight loss journey. Still in a deficit, which is good, but the calories in 19,864, calories out 21,904, leaving me with just a 2,040 calorie deficit. Again, you wanna be at least 3,500 calorie deficit each week because that's one pound of body fat. So if I take that 2,040 divided by 3,500, I should expect to lose 0.6 pounds of body fat this week. Again, still good, still a negative number. Uh, and I should be expecting that scale to go down a little bit more than 0.6 because I'll be losing inflammation from the previous week as well. So let's see what the weight is as I step on the scale. All right, well, uh, I just got a video done and uploaded. Usually when I had that video done the day before, uploaded already, processed, scheduled, no problem. But Monday was a holiday in my brain. I thought yesterday, which was Tuesday, was Monday, and I didn't know today was Wednesday. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a day behind right now because Monday was a holiday. So I got up today thinking like, oh crap, I still have a video I have to get done. I had it like half edited. I just thought I had a whole other day before I had to get it out. So. Um, I had to get that video done and uploaded right now, which I did, and it is now 12.25. So I'm going to try to get a workout in here before I go pick up Theo, uh, and then I'll continue on the day. Uh, but yeah, I didn't have any breakfast yet, having anything to eat. I just had a little bit of coffee. Uh, I've just been rushing, trying to get that video done, which that was my main stressor today. Uh, so now that that's done, get a workout in here. Today... Picking up Theo and Joanna. Joanna finishes work today at 2.30, so she's got an early day today, which is awesome. We're going to go to Costco after she's done, uh, pick up some groceries. We have our dinners planned out for the rest of the week, so get the groceries to uh, make that happen, and that's pretty much it. Now, before I waste any more time out of my workout, I am going to get started here. I have to be done this workout in just under an hour, so um, if I get like a, you know, 30, 40 minute workout in, that's awesome. If I have time after this workout, I will make a smoothie before I go, but again, it's just all time permitting. So uh, I'm a little bit rushed for time right now, but the video's done and uploaded, so feeling pretty good. Today is back and biceps, so gonna jump into it. So as I mentioned before, I just wanted to get more consistently back into lifting weights and working out. And uh, so just doing a back and bicep day here. You can see that uh, bench that Joanna got me for Christmas has come in absolutely amazing. It helps me out with so many different exercises I couldn't do before. I couldn't do anything like this before, which helps me work out my back. And you know, if you've watched the previous workout videos, I've had trouble finding exercises to work out my back. So this ended up being perfect. I 
addressing the weight from this week down 1.8 pounds, which is awesome. And uh, I think it shows a perfect example of what I've been talking about for weeks and weeks. And that is inflammation going up and down on the scale. So you can go up a pound, down a pound, up 0.5, down two, whatever. It fluctuates from week to week. And really that depends on the inflammation you're holding. Uh, if you're working out, if you're eating more carbs, if you're eating less carbs, it really depends on just what your body's holding on to. Uh, body fat is going to come off pretty steadily if you're doing the right things, but fluctuations in your weight from week to week can definitely just be attributed to holding on to more water than usual. And like I said, I think from last week to this week is an absolutely perfect example of that because there's no way you saw my calorie recap. I was expecting to lose 0.6 pounds of body fat and it went down 1.8 pounds. It's because most of that was inflammation that was held in my legs from the week before. Joanna was sneaky at the end with her camera here, getting footage of me reading my book. Just to prove, I do read my book. <laughs> I have been trying to sit down more and just read it, so uh, she got a shot at me here. About halfway through the book at this point. And that'll be it for another Way in Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another video. I'll put my Way in Wednesday playlist in the bottom right so you can check out the other Way ins if you'd like. As always, I appreciate you. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are. See you on the next one.